right, you guys, what's going on? It's February 4th, 2024 at about 1.20 in the morning. We got a live feed going on right now for this part of the storm, and then we'll do another one tomorrow night for the rest of the week for the most part. Hope you guys are doing well. We're just gonna go check out what's going on. The snow's starting to come down heavier, and this is what I do. Don't forget, go to bigbearweathermore.com to get your merch. We got a lot of merch, and it helps the channel helps me i would really appreciate it you guys and you guys will be looking styling and awesome supporting the channel so hook me up like that i'd appreciate it and when you guys come to town if you bring your own skis and snowboards and go to get boards on big bear boulevard it's get board ski and snowboard rentals they will they will wax your skis and snowboards for free if you mention the channel and they have the best prices for rentals the, the best quality rentals and also you can order your lift tickets on getboards.com you guys if you order them 72 hours in advance, you will save a significant amount of money as opposed to going straight to the um, ticket window on the day of skiing. So 72 hours in advance and you'll be golden. All right, here we go. Oh, I love this. I love it when the snow is coming down like this, guys. It makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. And also, for those of you who want to know about free sledding areas up here if you go to the bigbearweatherandmore.com website you will there there will be a, a portion there um, that will show you on a little map where the free areas of sledding are located as well as a video of the free sledding areas so i hope you guys check it out go enjoy that and any questions you ever have, don't hesitate to hit me up. I love doing this for you guys. But again, yeah, we're out here cruising right now. It's about 32 degrees. Um, this is one of the heavier bands of snow coming through right now. So this is absolutely great. Um, we're gonna be driving by Snow Summit real quick and then we're gonna go through, through the village and a little bit down by the lake and then we're gonna head back. We do have another video uploading at at the moment it was when it first started snowing again and we went up to the top of Sugarloaf which was the second snowiest place in the whole town so far and then we went to the snowiest place Upper Moon Ridge to get to Bear Mountain This is Summit Boulevard we're coming up to right now. Right now we're on Evergreen, turning left on the summit. We're gonna get a little bit loose here. Woo! Oh, I love that. That is so much fun. For those of you who are worried to drive in these conditions, if you get up here before the storm starts, the best way to learn is to go into one of the big em empty parking lots, not at the resort like right here you're, you're gonna want to go to like their big satellite overflow parking lots and just practice losing control regaining control hitting your gas hitting your brakes and just feeling how it feels wow look at look at this I thought they'd have their lights on right now but they don't and it's really coming down good here oh it's spectacular I think we're gonna do a donut in this parking lot. Not right here, of course, but once, once we get down here, let's have, have a little bit of fun as we exit. Let's see this. Oh, it's so, so pretty, you guys. My goodness. Look at that. We're at Snow Summit right here. This is so beautiful. I love it. I mean, I absolutely love it. guys I just want to make sure that there's enough snow to there's enough snow to have a little bit of fun we're just gonna do a, a couple couple quick donuts here I think oops sorry people we're gonna go towards this end of the parking lot where there's not gonna be anybody walking around Let's 
get get a feel for it right here. All right, let's let's do it. so much fun. Back to the drive. That's really coming down over here. So I'm going to take you guys on the back streets to get to the village. Or you know what? We're going to take Big Bear Boulevard because there shouldn't be anybody on the boulevard right now. As I said, it's 130. Temperature is 31 degrees. This isn't going to be the longest video. Because I, I've got one uploading right now that's about an hour long. But as I said, we went to the number one snowiest part of town and the number two snowiest part of town so far this season. Usually they're in the top two and three anyway. But uh, compared to where I live, this next video that I'm uploading, I give you guys a little shot of where I live. And then just a mile away, it's literally like eight to nine times more snow. It's just unbelievable. I guess there's more cars out here than I expected. It is 1.30, so hopefully we don't get caught up in any of the people doing some illegal drinking and driving, because I don't want to be around that at all. Guys, it is really hard to see what lane you're in when there's snow on the roads up here because it just looks like one giant lane. Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company right here to the right. That building right there. I'm telling you guys, if you guys like coffee, you're not going to be disappointed when you go in there.
cars are parked here to, to be at, at this bar where all these people are standing outside. Yeah. Some super drunk people there right now. Gosh, I don't miss those days, I'll tell you what. I do not miss those days at all. Okay. We gotta watch out for all of the, as I said, all the drunkards. Careful up here when you guys are drinking. Very careful.
house is on the left or right on the lake. And then once we get up here to Lakeview, we're gonna turn right on Lakeview and then on and off through the first portion, the houses on the left are gonna be on the lake again. Then the second half of Lakeview, they're all on the lake. This is a route that I take when I'm doing drives around the lake coming from the dam area when we have a lot of snow and a ton of traffic. I'll cut through Edgemore and take this route where there will be nobody on here but it'll be bumper to bumper all the way to the village and past the village. This will take us to the village basically. And then I finagle my way in over there and it saves me a lot of time. Again, it can be bumper to bumper, and I mean really bad, and this is how this road will look. There's no one on it. sign and this is still going to be Lakeview when we turn right. If you go straight, that's Lagunita Street. Where Lagunita Lodge is. I have a video or two staying at Lagunita Lodge on the playlist. Two completely different rooms, so that's why there's multiple. Some of these spots, there are multiple recordings, but they're different rooms, like completely different rooms. So it's as if it's a whole different place. But if you want to check out the Lagunita Lodge, go on to my playlist that says Lodging and you can see everywhere that I've stayed up here. I record the whole entire property so you guys can see what to expect when you get there. You guys are spending a lot of money and just kind of putting hope in the places that you're booking and I want you to be able to see them first so if it's not what you're expecting, you don't feel like you wasted money. I'm, I'm trying to help you guys as much as I can, as much as possible. this lake view right now too. Look at this. Look at all these different lake views, guys. And this is going to take us right to Big Bear Boulevard. Just like that, if we stayed straight right there, that stop sign right there, that's Big Bear Boulevard also. But this will also cut off a decent amount of traffic too. But this way can be a pain in the butt to get back onto the boulevard because there will be bumper to bumper traffic and no one wants to let you in. So what I do from right here is once I get to the stop sign, I'll turn right and drive through the village and take some of the back ways in the village to avoid that traffic and come out the other side and I'll be driving the back roads all the way home. 
and I will get anywhere I need to go quickly. All right, back on the boulevard. Look at that. This whole, whole zoom in thing is really awesome. I've never seen my phone zoom in that far. It's like more than three times zoom. Usually it, it, it doesn't go that far, so it must have made some upgrades on YouTube or something. By the way guys, we're, we're starting to develop some, some good potholes up here, so please be careful. I've already been hearing about people popping their tires, ruining their suspension, throwing their suspension out of whack, so just be extra cautious. Uh, I've learned that it's, it doesn't seem like much of a priority up here. Maybe it is, I just assume that they should fix it like as soon as they notice it. Because I don't want you guys to have to deal with that stuff. Still 34 degrees. I'll show you guys a good parking lot when there's snow to go practice. You're losing control and regaining control. You'll turn right here on Summit Boulevard. We're going to one of the satellite parking lots for Snow Summit. As I said, these are the overflow parking lots. The main parking lots, usually not the best idea, but there's plenty of these um, overflow parking lots, plenty of them. So we're on Summit Boulevard now, and the first left is Brownie Lane. here there's many areas to pull in all along here and you have a huge empty parking lot to practice losing control and regaining control all through here once we get some more snow guys I'll be doing a, like a good five minute clip having some fun in there I think you guys will enjoy that I have so much fun doing it Let's 
get a little loose right here. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys being here. Take care, and we'll see you a little bit later. Good evening.